the problem is that what we're trying to do here is that we always blame the system, but we don't see that we are the system. We're part of it. If one person in this room can change something about their life, then you're changing something within the system. Or even change your family, or bring in something else to some a different opinion, a different view. Then you are now not saying that, oh, you can't fight City Hall. And you can't, because you know, there's certain points where you can't. But you can't blame them either, because where is the system created? Where does this system come from? Right? Who makes up the system that we're all killing each other when you think about it? What fear is involved with that? Right? So we create more weapons of mass destruction. You got, I think, Iraq right now is that they're creating weapons of mass destruction. Now, what's going to happen is we're going to have to march into Iraq eventually. We're dying for an excuse to do that, and we're going to go in there. We're going to say they're building missiles, and we're going to have to stop them because. But where's the where's the balance in that? Yeah, Iran or whatever, right? Where's the balance? I'm not politically minded, so you know. So we're, we're, we're coming to the balance of that, more centered, right? One of the things that um, Tifa always talks about is, especially from a warrior perspective, is uh, if you find yourself in a violent situation, you have to have a home base, a place to go in your mind. And I think that's really what you're talking about, that center. Um, so it's not that you know, all these other things come into play, we talk about fear and all these other things to balance. It's really coming closer to the center in order to deal with what you have to deal with in that moment. So really just having a place to go. That definitely applies in other areas of your life, right? you know, in terms of business, family, everything. But just whenever, whatever you're conflicted with, whatever you're confronted with, just having a place to go in your mind that allows you to be at home base, and you can work from that place in order to get through what you got to get through. Right, in your family or in business or anything, to become more centered. If you are on one end of the scale or one of the other scale, trying to pull that scale over to you, it's not working. That's not really what the balance is. If I really want to have balance, I have to stay close to whatever that center is so I can view everything that's going on around me. So I get Tree's perception, I get Jack's perception, I get Radar's perception. I can see where people are coming from. It's the same in combat, right? If you are facing the wall of sun and all of you people who decide that I see who's crazy, I'm going to kill them, right? I'm going to try to position myself where I can view everybody coming at me, right? Be more centered. Don't be so self-absorbed in one way, or like so self-absorbed into your child that you forget about your wife. So self-absorbed about your wife or your husband that you forget about the goldfish that you have. <laughs> that are now floating on, on top of the water because, you know, you can't take care of your goldfish. Goldfish need love too. Yeah. <laughs> but you did. You did take a responsibility I by buying that goldfish. My wife and kid. <laughs> yes. Your wife and kid are important, but everything becomes a part of that family circle. Daddy, how come you killed the goldfish? <laughs> well, because I left them on the TV for too long and he cooked. <laughs> Right? Well, did he cook or was it, well, we could talk about gamma rays now and radiation. <laughs> you know, so now the goldfish can become a lesson. But daddy, you killed the goldfish. So everything has to become a part of becoming more centered. To me, that's balance. That's viewing. 